YouTube, what it is, it's your boy Diesel from Diesel TV. All right, man, we are here at the range. I wanted to come out to the range and I wanted to go over uh, drawing from holster with the red dot. I had somebody ask me a question, Matt Moore asked a question um, in my texting group about um, how do I um, use my, how do I unholster my weapon with the red dot? Uh, he's having a hard time acquiring that red dot when he um, unholsters coming from the holster. So I'm going to go through the steps of what I did to get used to unholstering and all that stuff and show you guys uh, some of the things I did, okay? So uh, let's get to it, man. Uh, I got my Glock 19 out here with the hollow sun on it. Uh, I'm using 115 grain bullets. So uh, let's see what we can do. All right, so we're out at the 10-yard line, and this is where um, this is how I started with the red dot. What I did when I first got the red dot, I just took it out and I shot it. I didn't unholster or anything like that. Just from, from stance, I would go and I'd find a red dot. All right. Now, what I did do also was I made sure that I could follow that dot after recoil. So after I fired a few shots, got used to it and all that stuff, I would come and double fire. And then I would get to a point where I would fire out of bullets. Let me go ahead and reload this mag. All right, and then after I fired two, I got to the point I said, I told, asked myself, how fast can I fire five? I wanted to get to a point where I could fire five real fast without unholstering or anything like that, just to see how well I could follow that red dot. So, six, but you see what I'm saying? I just got real comfortable with it to where I could fire it as fast as I wanted to and hit that, that um, hit that target pretty well, all right? So after I got to that point, all right, that's when I started asking around, saying how, what I should do to unholster and all that stuff. I asked a few instructors that did competitions with red dots and all that stuff. And what they would say was, instead of drawing like you're used to drawing, okay? So uh, in law enforcement, they teach you to draw, bring it up, present, and fire, okay? So I started with that and that just wasn't working. So what I would do is, Bam, like that. And I can't see the red dot from that, that point because my, my aim is off and I just can't get the red dot up. So started asking around and I wanted to see, you know, what I'm doing wrong, how I'm doing it and all that stuff. And one of the guys told me that it's a little bit different when you draw from a holster, all right? So instead of just going from here to here, what you want to do is, you want to go from here to low ready to here and punch out. All right, and that's how you get the red dot quickest. So let me show you that again. So you want to go, bam, and I'm on the red dot. I'm on the red dot. Once it gets up here, I'm on the red dot, okay? Um, now, if I go from here to here, I can't see that red dot. I have to fish around. But when I go from here to here, I'm already on that red dot. All right, let me show you how it's done. I don't have a shot timer or anything like that. We're just gonna, you're just gonna see how I practice, okay? That's how I do it, okay? That was a little ugly, but. Okay. That's how I draw from a holster, okay? Now, just like I told Matt Moore, if you know what a low ready is, this is a low ready. This is where you really wanna come up to, right here. Bam, bam, all right? And then you wanna bring it up to your eyes and punch out. And that'll get you right on where the target is, okay? That'll get you right on where the target is, all right? Um, I know a lot of people are used to, when they unholster, they're used to bam, bam. That's what that, that now, that's how I was taught to shoot when it comes to a holster and all that stuff. That's exactly how I was taught to shoot. Bring it up to you, uh, not close to your body or anything like that. Unless you're clearing a room, you want to be like this, walking around, clearing a room, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. But when it comes to just being at the range and firing 
unholster bring it up it's it's a little bit different um so like i said let me get another magazine in like i said now i've practiced with this holster a lot because i used to carry this gun around a lot uh my other gun is the inside the waistband holster very similar to this one uh same setup red dot with uh well it's not the same red dot but the same setup i have a red dot threaded barrel and all that stuff on that other gun uh so it's about the same thing extended magazine stuff like that so it's about the same gun uh just a little different <clears throat> it's my sig p320 x carry that i um that i run with so um like i said it's it's kind of like the same it's just inside the waistband instead of outside the waistband holster all right, so like I said, here we go. I'm going to show you again how I do it, okay? Like I said, coming up, close to the body, punch out, right on it, all right? Um, do it again. Missed that time. Practice makes perfect. Now, sometimes you're going to miss. Sometimes you will miss. But guys, like I said, you just got to practice with it, man. All right? Again, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Let's get it together. I'm right off the I'm right off the target. So <clears throat> here we go. I did that wrong. Here we go. Once I get to that point where I'm trying to go a little too fast, that's when I'll slow my butt down and, and get back to it. And slow it down a little bit. And that's all you really want to do. Okay. All right, guys. So this was a real quick video. I just want to come out here and let you guys see exactly what I do when it comes to um, me unholstering my gun from the holster with the red dot and all that stuff how do i go about acquiring that red dot after i holster uh things of that sort man if you have any questions just leave it in the comment section um had to come up closer had to come up closer uh just leave it in the comment section if you have any questions uh make sure you hit that like button make sure you subscribe and y'all know what it is man i'm out